it's gone from being just like dull to like full of like flavour. Oh yeah, gosh, a lot wow. of depth in the flavour as well. Mm. Welcome to His and Her Dining Club. It's your host, Mikael. And Samantha. And today we'll be making... Jerk sea bass. Thank you. Tune in. So yeah, so we've got jerk sea bass. This is a quick quick and easy way to do jerk sea bass. You know, when you have like, you come back from work, you're tired, mm. you know, you only got 20 minutes spare. You want some nice good food to eat, but you just don't want to have to eat. So perfect recipe is jerk sea bass. Well, our version of jerk sea bass. So yeah, we'll quickly just show you the ingredients for that and yeah, check in. So a quick breakdown on the recipe for the jerk sea bass. So yeah, we've got one tablespoon of honey, black pepper, fish seasoning, and one tablespoon of jerk seasoning as well. So yeah, so first of all, we just obviously mix everything together. So if you can obviously just put a bit of olive oil in there as well first. Okay. So you're gonna put the olive oil in there just to Mm -hmm. Only a little bit, yeah, that should be all right. Okay. And then you're gonna mix all the ingredients together. So if you can mix the black pepper, the jerk seasoning. The black pepper first. So yeah, pop the black pepper in there. Okay. Yeah. And then we just need the fish seasoning as well. Fish. Yeah. Just pop the fish seasoning in there. Um, the jerk seasoning as well, because obviously that's obviously for the jerk seasoning. <laughs> Did you make this jerk seasoning yourself? Or? Yeah, so this was made myself, but you can obviously buy jerk seasoning if you want to, but yeah, that's up to you really. But this is a quick and easy way of making the jerk seasoning best. And obviously, if you pop the honey in there as well, just to give it that, that sweetness taste of it. So yeah, and that's it for all the seasonings. You just mix it all together, and that's what we're gonna put onto obviously the sea bass. Forgot to mention. The ingredients for the sea bass as well. So it's just literally just obviously I've cleaned the sea bass with um, honey and vinegar. So clean that. So need two, two, two sections of the sea bass. Yeah. So obviously we're going to mix all that in. So if you mix it all in. So we're combining all of the seasonings into one master seasoning. Correct. Yeah. So you have <laughs> one master seasoning there. <laughs> one master seasoning. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that should be all right. Yeah. And I've obviously, you can obviously place it with a spoon, or you can place it with a brush. It's entirely up to yourself. But we just want to have that onto the jerk salmon. Oh, sorry, sea bass. <laughs> Everyone does jerk salmon these days, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now you want me to put this onto this sea bass. Okay, and uh, is there a particular way that I have to put it on? No, just literally just place it on. And um, any excess is going to go onto the other side of the sea bass. Oh, okay, right. So, so um, we're kind of dividing this up equally? Yeah, so yeah, so you divide it equally. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, like that. Just and I left a bit in here? Yep, yeah, correct. So you should leave a little bit and we obviously can paste it on. Use the brush now. Okay. You could use your hands if you wanted to. <laughs> You know I don't like to use my hands. <laughs> I, I prefer, if I can, to use tools oh, or gloves. Yeah. Yeah, I have my gloves on at the moment. Perfect, too. <laughs> I think I'd rather use gloves for this, this exercise. Okay. Yeah, it smells nice, doesn't it? It smells great. Yeah, so you got the honey mixed with a jerk, that gives it like a really nice, you know, it looks, it looks super seasoned. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? That's the aim, yeah. You know, Caribbean recipes wow. are very seasoned, so. It's gone from being just like dull to like full of like flavour. Oh my yeah. gosh. A lot wow. of depth in the flavour as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so then would I turn this over then? You or can what? turn it over, yeah. Do you want to use a spoon to turn it over or, or would you prefer? Yes, yeah, please. use a spoon. <laughs> Don't let your keep, hands dirty. Let's keep things clean. Yeah, Ooh, okay. watch yourself. Watch it there. Just use your hand a little bit. Yeah, we've got it there. All right, and then I'll just add the rest of this. Correct, yeah. So you just add the excess of the seasoning into that. Okay. Just put a bit of this side. Put a bit of that side. Scrape the bowl out. And yes, get nothing goes to waste in this kitchen. You right. always scrape every single season. You don't waste anything. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
every inch. Okay. I don't know. It's my first enjoying this. Painting. <laughs> painting. On. Yeah, just think of it as painting, you know. Painting it on. So that's pretty much covered. Oh, let's see, that's that there. Yeah. Okay. Covered. So yeah, so, so from here, we just basically leave the sea bass for approximately, I say, well, for us overnight, you know, just get that marination, marinating, getting into the actual fish. But you can leave it up to 30 minutes, it's not gonna make a massive difference. But yeah, I'll say half an hour and then put it in the cooker and you're good to go. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Okay, so we'll marinate it and yeah. we'll check it back. We'll check it back in half an hour and then we'll go from there. So after the sea bass has been marinating for over half an hour, we would then place the sea bass in the oven for about approximately four to five minutes on either side. And that will be at a degrees, well, 180 degrees or 360 Fahrenheit. And there we have it, jerk sea bass. Remember, fish is very quick to cook, so don't overdo it. Thanks again for watching, see you next time.